So we're making yamachoma and chicken. Yeah, that one's next. Hey guys, welcome back to a special edition of Breaking the Dish and today we're at 11 Bar and Restaurant. Something special today because we have special guests that are going to join us and uh, they're not from Kenya so we wanted to give them a bit of the Kenyan taste. Musaveni, what are we making next? Next, I want to make chicken curry. Chicken curry. You yeah. guys have really good curry here, yeah? A lot of people come eat your curry here? Yes. Oh, nice. So he's going to show me step by step how this dish is made. He's just going to break it down for me. You guys can help me cook if you want. It's a yeah, koroga. So these are all the ingredients that we use to make this chicken curry. Obviously, we'll need some chicken, some chili powder, yep. some black pepper, yep. some cumin, yep. some garlic, red onions, tomatoes, and here we have some, on, some, some green chilies and some lemon and some green pepper, or you can call it ho ho. <laughs> Emma, yeah. you have some salt and some oil and water. All these ingredients, you can make it at home, you can make it here. So this is how we're going to get started. First, we're going to take the onions. And I really like to hear that sizzling sound. Yeah. yeah. So finally, the heat is on. Do you cook a lot, like in your house? <laughs> yes, sometimes. Sometimes, yeah? yeah. What's your favorite dish? Uh... <laughs> What is that? Yes. What is subor? It's soup. It's like red color inside uh -huh. of everything. Vegetable, oh, wow. meat, even like cook, 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 cook. Oh, yeah, it's yummy. Look like a little bit like tomato. Oh, ah, God, I love yeah. that. Like a tomato soup, kind of. Now we put in some garlic. You can get ready with the onions. Onions smell very nice. I know, I love the smell of onions. I thought I was the only one. So we want this to get ready a bit before we can put in the spices. This is a very quick and easy dish you can make in your house or you can come here and do it in a karoga, you know? How lucky am I? Like I have this amazing great DJ host like just helping me cook this meal and uh, she's... What is this? This is the black pepper, black this is pepper. the cumin. This is no, no, that so is I chicken masala. And this is the black pepper. Yeah, that's black pepper. Mm -hmm. And this is the chicken curry. So we're gonna start putting the spices in now. We put in the curry. Sorry. And then we don't put in so much black pepper, just a bit. Not too much. Sorry. And then let me just add that actually. Okay. And then we're gonna put some the chicken curry. Ooh. Perfect. This is some spicy. This is some chili. Yeah. Chili. So you guys like chili, right? Yes, little bit. Little <laughs> bit. <laughs> that's a little okay, bit. <laughs> we put all of it. No, no, that's enough. That's enough. I think I don't want to burn you guys. I really love spices. Mm. And, oh, it smells so good. Perfect. Mm. I don't oh my want god, to you guys! Leave. I'm so hungry. I don't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to leave. You can eat this just like that. It smells so good. Let's put in the tomatoes and wait for them to kind of. You know, when but uh, how do you say tomato will be soft, soft exactly. Yeah. So we're just gonna put in all of it mm -hmm. because we want it to be soft. There's a lot of chicken there. Getting down and nice. dirty in the kitchen, outside the, the oh. outside kitchen. I'm already wanting some water. Yeah, just a little bit to prevent it from sticking to the pan. Mm. And then now we're getting ready to put in the chicken. Okay, now we put in the chicken, and this is a whole chicken, huge slices. Mm -hmm. 
And we have finished making the chicken, curry style. I think you should just take a look at this. It's so delicious, it smells so good, and it only took one hour to prepare. Yeah. Oh my god. The food is amazing. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. wow. I hope oh you gosh. guys are ready. This is yeah. chicken curry. The real Kenyan style this way. So nice. Yes. Yeah, I need to stretch this out. is the real Man. Kenyan style. Let me stretch out. I, I was like, gonna use Kenyaji oh. chicken, but I didn't know how you guys would do would, would, would no, want it. Oh mm -hmm. please serve your chicken. L lady first. Yes, lady ladies first. first At this please. Time, I need so to stretch you. Out. Thank you. You need to stretch out, mix yeah, some room in there. To, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of food, and it's you guys have food, to finish like, it. Mm, wow. <laughs> mm, it's yummy. Yeah. It's dope. And you guys are actually going to the studio after this. I hope you don't fall asleep. No. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them, huh? <laughs> food gives you energy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm a hype man. So. You're a hype oh, man, yeah. yeah. You don't get tired. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, you've tasted it. Mm -hmm. Do you oh. like it? Perfect. Oh, sorry, sir. Sir, what kind of a. Get, uh, no, ladies, 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 ladies first. Ladies first, right? Yeah. Anyway, it's big enough. This is so yummy. Really? Mm. I hope you love Especially this. Especially with ugali. Yes, in koroga style, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Do you like doing korogas? Mm -hmm. So you can go to the restaurant and actually like cook for yourself? Yeah. Because a lot of Indian restaurants do that, but also here they do that. They allow you to cook for yourself as no, you sit China, with your friends. No, in China. We are, we are mm. in China so much. Oh, really? Like we cook ourselves and prefer. Oh, nice, nice. Now, I want you guys to try it out and tell me what you think about this African-style koroga chicken curry. Mm. Ah, you're loving I it. I just know what. <laughs> I don't know really? what to say. <laughs> Can I have some of this? Mm -hmm. We share some ugali. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I want you to tell me because she helped me cook this even. So yeah, <laughs> so this, is, this is part of your your work, Anissa. Mm. Ooh, he's about mm. to sing a song about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this sauce it's is good. so nice. It's turned the it's chicken into like red meat. Yeah. Like, from, like, wow. You can really? know it's chicken. This is no. actually chicken. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oh my God. And it's not dry. It's not so dry. Mm -hmm. You know, it's still juicy inside there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm glad you like it. So this how do you say secret secret secret, 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 secret sauce, sauce. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys, when did you guys meet and when did you guys collaborate? Like, like what year was too? this? Yeah. Like two, four years ago, right? Mm -hmm. Four years. Ago. 2014. Do you meet? Yeah. First, first time we collaborate. 2015. Yes, but yes. We wow. meet, but we you met know, like year um, shoulder more longer. Yes. No oh, longer, wow. and then um, one day, uh -huh. uh, because she has a contract with Bosch, yeah, and we had a show that day. I was the MC, yeah, and we say, why not? We already know each other mm -hmm. for a long time, and why not we can collaborate, collaborate. and make something great together? Mm -hmm. And she said, all right, all right, yeah, and we start working together. Was that a challenge? Hmm? Was it a challenge? It, yeah, because um, this time. We she she always after ten years working all over the world. Ah, okay. She never has an MC. She yeah. always work alone. Yeah. And for her to have an MC, she need to try something new to have a new program. Like exactly. now, I'm working with the MC. Yeah. Yeah, because I was also used to work with so many world DJ top yeah. hundred so in the world. So you're used to working with other with many DJs, yeah. different DJs. Mm -hmm. So that we decide to uh, to be together. Work yeah. Together. And I think it's an amazing collaboration. Yeah. You guys are really great. I really can't wait to. I know. I know you guys are going to blow up. You're already Thank blowing you so up. Much. And I just can't wait to see what else you guys have in, in store for us. Mm -hmm. Petra, especially now that you're working with international artists, it's mm -hmm. just so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you find the language a, a, a barrier between all you guys? Because you all come from different backgrounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you find that sometimes could be a barrier? No. Mm -hmm. no, no. You understand no. the language of love. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Music is universal. Yes, yeah. exactly. No reason. No so maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You can connect to anyone, mm -hmm. any yeah. race, As anyone, any. any yes, race. actually, we we are electronic dance mm -hmm. music artists. Mm -hmm. Yes. We are doing electronic music. Mm -hmm. But we are scared to cross 
borders and yes, try new things. Yes, huh? to extend yeah. our limit. Wow, so you can have like an African side? Yeah, exactly. We wow. want to do everything mm -hmm. possible. Like oh, wow. the world is changing. That's really exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should eat fufu like that. Yeah, that's no, no. how you eat. <laughs> yes. Yeah, with your hands. Who eats fufu with a knife and fork? Your people are going to get so mad at you when they see you. Yes. <laughs> yes. When exactly. they see you. Exactly, I want to ask like, I want to eat this and give me some orange. Oh, can I have some, something to wash exactly. his hands? Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I wash him with corn. Ugali. Yes, yes. Yeah, this is how it is. So messy. Yeah, let me do it. Can I eat? So what are your winter plans? Like, what are you doing for winter? Now we depend in the agency, so we wait the program. So you just wait for them to let you know yeah. mm -hmm. how it's gonna go, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're always ready. Like if they say after tomorrow, we take flight, we just yeah. That must be very hard, like for your relationships, like the fact that you're always traveling and you're always, you know, on the yes. go. That must really yes. put a strain on, yes. on that, you know. Stability life yeah, is, is hard. It can be. I can imagine. How about you, Petra? I know you're a mom, mm -hmm. juggling all of that. How do you find it as a young woman, mm. as a young mom? You just get used to it. I mean, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. But you're still doing it, you know? Mm. All you young moms should know, you can still make it, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. You just have to keep pushing, uh -huh. especially when you love it. Yeah, uh -huh. nothing can stop you. Nothing, <laughs> yeah. I think that as well, especially when you have so much love for it. Yeah. So guys, I really want to thank you guys for being a part of the show thank you, and for showing thank you. up. Thank it was you. my pleasure so to cook for you and I would definitely do it again. Yeah. I'm so, so happy. Much, yeah, yeah, you're beautiful. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. You're beautiful. I'm surrounded with beautiful people. Finova and Anfisa are fast becoming a truly internationally successful EDM duo. The duo consists of the two. Finova, an international MC and hype man, and Anfisa, known as DJ Anfisa, one of the greatest fashion DJs in Asia. The duo was formed in the autumn of 2015 in Shanghai, China. And within a short period of time, they've already signed with a great label, Digital Treak. Their first official independent release was With You, which quickly rushed onto number one on the Spinnin' Records Talent Pool Electro House chart. They're currently the main attraction of all agencies and TV shows in New York City, Utah, and Amsterdam.